Hello everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Today we're going to instruct a more Adobe Fireworks design workflow so everybody can see what an easy and powerful tool it is for web design, print design, logo design, as well as any illustrations that you want to make. This little simple illustration here is what we'll be showing you how to create from scratch. So the first thing we'll do is get a new file going. I'm going to make mine 800 by 500. You can make yours any size you want and any resolution you like. When you're dealing with print design, you might want to up this resolution. When you're dealing with web design, 72 is just fine. Press OK. So now I have a blank black canvas, 800 by 500. I'm going to bring up my properties bar. And the first thing I'll do is get the rectangle. That will be the kind of like a background. So I'm going to go to gradient radial on that rectangle. And change it from white right there to red maybe even a little darker red and I can position this radial to be anywhere I like on that rectangle that I just put in place I'm gonna keep it right there in center for now and I'm probably gonna move that rectangle up a little bit but I can stay flexible with that I'm gonna put down the rectangle on the bottom now and this is going to have a radial gradient as well of red I'm gonna put the light focus point to be right at the top this one I'm gonna make just a bit darker there we go bring this one up I'm going to make it a little bit taller so it kind of matches the other one I have going there. Now I'm going to make the main heart in the center. And I'm going to show you how to draw out a custom heart using the pen tool, which if you're using fireworks, you can just go into the shapes and drag out a heart, and there it is. And then you can manipulate that. But I'll show you how to do a custom because that's how we roll. So now let's grab the pen tool. And with the pen tool, you can give it any fill you want, any border color you want. I'm just going to leave it with a fill of bright red. I'm going to click down in the center. I'm going to draw out maybe like an ear shape. So I'm going to click down there, click down here and hold and drag. Click down here, hold and drag a little bit. And then I'm going to click down right about there. And then right here. Now I'm going to grab the sub selection tool and I'm going to move this point 90 degrees. And you can zoom in on your scene by holding control and mouse wheel in and out. So you want to make sure that that line, you saw how mine was off like that a little bit. So I want that line to be 90 degrees because I'm going to copy that. Control C, Control V. Now I just put a copy of it right on top of itself. Now I can go up here to flip horizontal and just make sure they meet up in the center. So right when I see they meet up and there's no line in the center, I can go to Modify, Combine Paths, and Union. So that's how you can get custom symmetrical designs that are even, perfectly even, on both sides. You just make half of it. Draw a straight line up the center, copy, flip it over, and you have a perfectly symmetrical thing. It could be a face that you're drawing, maybe some any kind of shape that you would need to be perfectly symmetrical on both sides. Now the reason why I showed how to do that with the pen tool, custom like that, and not use the heart that's right in the shapes library, is because I wanted to give you guys a more hands-on education in Fireworks, so you can create your own custom graphics when you need to. That sometimes you'll need to create a face or something that has symmetrical ears and symmetrical chin and it's not a heart so that's why some people might be beefing at me right now oh, Adam why didn't you just go into the shapes library and pull out a heart you stupid idiot you're stupid you don't even know fireworks and you're trying to teach it yeah I know fireworks and I know what's in the symbols libraries okay so leave me alone I just wanted to show people how to do this custom they might have other things they want to apply that know-how to like drawing a head, the shape of ears and chin and the head. It's very hard to do that perfectly symmetrical on both sides. All you have to do is half of it, flip it over, union, and you're done. Now I'm going to make this thing the size I want for the gold piece, or the, the actual bright metal gold. Put it right about there on this surface down here, this rectangle surface. Right about there looks good. I can make that a little bigger, because that's going to be the main focus of the illustration. I'm going to give it a color, the best I can, of gold. That looks on the money to me. Now what I'm going to do is bevel that. Bevel and emboss, inner bevel. I'm going to leave it flat. I'm going to make sure this is all the way up on the softness. Bring up the width just a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to give that an edge of this dark, goldy looking brown color thing. Okay, so now all you have to do is press Control c Control v Make a copy of that. Get rid of that inner bevel. I'm going to remove the fill so it's just a border. 
So there it has a border of three. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits inside of that other one. So you just play with it until you get it desired size that you want. So I'm going to give that an edge of maybe four. Then I'm going to bevel that as well. Bevel and emboss, inner bevel. I'm going to make that smooth. Bring that all the way up, that all the way up, and that all the way up. So you can see already that the light, the way our bevel is set, it looks like the light would be up here and shining down this way. So you want to make sure that you keep aware of that with all of the lighting effects that you might put on things. Now I'm going to take that one that's just the edge. I'm going to press Control C, Control V. I'm going to put a red fill on it, dark red. I'm going to remove the edge this time. The edge is kind of independent of this other one. And you can grab this one that's just that brown edge and make it fatter if you like. You see, it's making fat it or skinny as you want. Now that's a little too fat. And if you have trouble grabbing any of this stuff, you can just go into your layers. Whenever you highlight something, you can see it light up here. So I highlight this if I want to lock that to make sure I can get to that heart behind there. I can do that just by locking it there. So now when I click down, I'm surely going to grab that one that's just the outline. Let's bring that back down to a reasonable number. Okay, let's unlock that red one. And let's highlight it. I'm going to remove that bevel. Now let's highlight that one. Press Control C, Control V. So there's a perfect copy of it right on top of itself. See? But don't move it. Leave it where it is. This one, you're going to give a gradient of linear. And it already has the colors that I want on it, so that's good. But on the red on the bottom, I want to bring the opacity all the way down. Now I'm going to take my pen tool. I'm going to go maybe right about here, and then right about here. And I'm going to click down and hold and drag and arc that to be right about like that. Then click down here. Just go somewhere way down here, here, and then there. And you can use that shape to punch out this shape. So I have the those two selected now. I go up to Modify, Combine Paths, and Punch. And you can manipulate that gradient still. So that's what you're going to do. Let's put the light focus over here. Bring that about like that. And that looks good. So you can see it kind of puts a shine and a, a bulge almost on that. So now to create the little ruby kind of effect that this one has, we're going to put a little blurred shape inside of this one we're working on here. So let's go ahead and grab the shape tool, an ellipse. Just draw out an ellipse, any shape you want really. Make sure it's bright red. Go to filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. You can blur it as much as you like. OK and then bring the opacity of it down a little bit. So there. Now you'll have your nice ruby glow inside. And like I said, that can be any size you want, any shape you want. So now when I get done with everything, that'll have a nice ruby effect to it because it'll have a shine in its center. I'm just going to make sure that this one is on top of that one by pressing Control Shift Up. Or you can use these up here to bring to front. So this one is on the topmost layer of everything I'm working on. And if you want to, at any time, you can make this one bigger just by resizing it and holding shift while you resize it so it doesn't lose proportions. I just want to make mine a tad bigger and I'm going to make that inner bevel a little deeper, a little wider so it comes where it should be. It's looking good to me boss. Now it looks like it has a nice golden metal rim or casing and a ruby red center like a ruby red jewel type center. But We're going to work on it a little more here. So now let's take this symbol here that's just the solid dark red heart. We're going to add a filter to that of inner glow. Bring that out a good bit. Make sure it's blurred all the way. And you see how that gives it a lot of depth. Now it looks like it's kind of coming out of there. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. There, that looks good to me. Now we're going to carefully take our pen tool and let's give that a white fill solid solid white and I'm going to zoom in just a bit here so I can draw more precisely where I want to. I'm going to start right here at that point where those two items meet 
and I'm going to come up to about right there and I'm going to draw an arc I'm going to hold down and drag to where my arc meets just about perfectly and I can still manipulate those points after I'm done doing this then I'm going to click down on that point so I get a sharp point when I come back down I'm going to go right about here click down I'm going to drag here as well I'm going to taper that to where it's a sharp point up top and then it gets wider down at the base click down there then click down there back up take a look at what you have alright now let's take that and bring the opacity down on it to right about there so you see that adds another level of shine to things I'm gonna put another little one up top here then go about right there make the arc to match up with your heart click here and click down right here and hold and taper and you can give it any kind of taper you like I'm gonna remove that edge make it a solid white and bring the opacity down so there now I have all the shines going on that I want you can put as many kind of lighting effects that you want on the thing okay now at this point I'm gonna grab the star symbol and I'm gonna put a big old star right there I'm gonna get a fill of white no edge or no border and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on it bring the radius in way in so it's very thin lines and then here you grab this and you can adjust your points give it however many points you want I'm going to give mine one two three four five six I'm also going to spin it just a little bit by grabbing the scale tool and using the skew effect of it now let's back up to 100 percent put that at the brightest point of the gold and then you make sure you give that a gradient of radial where it's black just make sure it's white and bring that opacity on that edge all the way down so you see what that did gives it a nice shine I'm gonna put one more over here and I can resize that and also spin it a little bit so it's not perfectly identical to that other one and add that right there now let's take our mouse over here and highlight everything right in that region then hold shift and deselect the big background with the radial on it that rectangle and also deselect these shines these stars we just put on so the only thing you should have selected is the heart without the shiny stars on it but everything else of, that we put into the heart would be selected. Press Control G. So now it's grouped. So if you move that heart, it all stays together in one piece. Now I'm going to highlight it. Press Control C, Control V, and I'm going to flip it vertically. I'm going to bring it down to match the point here. And I'm also going to, I'm going to zoom out while it's still selected. I'm going to go to my Distort tool and I'm going to distort it, cock it on its side, maybe like that, something around like that, to where it would match up with the reflection of where the lights are coming from. Make sure those points look like they're matched up pretty good, and go up to Commands, Creative, Auto Vector Mask, and just make sure you pick the one where it fades out on the bottom if you pick this one it'll fade out on top just fade out on bottom apply and then you can manipulate this gradient you see I can make that gradient fade much more dramatic and then move it up to where I get something like that so you see what that's done it gives you a more realistic reflection when you kind of distort like that according to where your lights coming from and all we need is some hearts in the back so for that you can just go into the shapes and grab the heart or you can use your custom heart draw out a new custom heart whatever you want to do I can manipulate this one now I'm just gonna make this solid red and I can manipulate the vertex the vertex arc and also the cleft I'm gonna put mine right about like that Then I'm gonna take that I'm gonna make it really big by going to the scale tool holding shift while I drag to keep proportions I'll make it about that big and I'm going to bring the opacity down on it to about 20 something so I'm going to put this one right about here 
Press Control C, Control V, put another big giant one like right here somewhere. Let's close that. And I'm just going to pop those in and make different sizes. So there's kind of like a variety going on. Control C, Control V, just keep copying and pasting it, resizing, putting it where you want it. That little guy right about there, that looks good to me. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to select all of those hearts by holding shift and grabbing all of them as I go. Just those hearts that I just put. Control G. Make them into a group. Now grab this background gradient that we put on first. The one that has that radial gradient back there. That rectangle. And it doesn't look like that rectangle is even big enough for the scene. Or maybe I moved it over. There. That's where it belongs. So we'll grab that rectangle back there way in the back and this new group of hearts and press control shift down arrow key you see what that did that brought all of those to the back so now you should have something that looks like that now I'm gonna bring my properties back up and I'm gonna grab a text tool I'm gonna type in down here happy Valentine's day and that text that I'm using that font rather is uh, script empty bold you can bold it or leave it unbolded now let's also put some text up here with that same font that would say I love you that looks great make sure it's centered in the heart this one as well I'm gonna bevel those also I'm gonna give them inner bevel and you can see they have my gold color they already have the gold color when I created them and that's cool with me I'm gonna go to bevel and emboss inner bevel and bring that fade all the way up not all the way up maybe six and I'm gonna bring this to smooth then I'm gonna give them another effect of glow and that's gonna be red but I'm gonna bring it all the way down to zero and 100 percent so there you have it very simple ways to get some pretty cool custom graphics for print web design logo design whatever you're doing alright we hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you next year sweetie pie